my name is Marie. Welcome to CU Mommy Connection. I am on location at the Champaign Public Library for an event called Countdown to Kindergarten. It's an event that is geared toward helping parents make sure that their children are prepared as they start kindergarten. There are a lot of kindergartners who will be starting in just a couple of months. So it's really important for parents to bring their children out to an event like this. Today we'll see what the library has to offer and why events like this are so important. This is Marie Polk with CU Mommy Connection. We're on location at the Champaign Public Library for the Countdown to Kindergarten event. And I am here with... Amanda Raklovitz. Okay. I'm the children's librarian at the Douglas branch of the Champaign Public All Library. Right. And tell us a little bit about what you're doing here today. Um, in general, we're preparing kids for kindergarten by doing a lots of different stations to get them ready with some of the skills they need. In particular, this one is a know your number station. So the kids can come up and pick a bag full of numbers. There's numbers 1 through 20 in here. And it's getting to recognize what number is which. And once they get there, starting to put them in order. My mom's a kindergarten teacher. This is one she does in kindergarten every day. <laughs> when she's there, it's one of their math stations is putting the numbers in order. OK. And why do you think it's important for parents to bring their children to an event like this? To an event like this, this is just giving them some more ideas, some things that really are very simple. I mean, I made these on the computer. It doesn't take long, mm -hmm. but it's just things that you might not think about and things that will be very helpful. Your kid's going to be nervous going to school. You know, mm -hmm. it's a big change. So having some things like this ready, they know they're prepared, mm -hmm. that will help them, I think, in the long run. Okay, and one final question. I know that we've been to story time with you <laughs> at the Douglas Branch. <laughs> yep. What other things are there to do for children in this age group? In this age group, well, we always have programs on Saturdays here at the at the main library that are good ones. There's um, exposing them to different cultures and different events, things like that. Um, this one we're really excited about because it is sort of school related and, and preparing like that. And the other thing that we always have at the library, of course, is reading programs. Mm -hmm. so right now we have a great reading program that you do every every day that you read at least 20 minutes with mm -hmm. your child. They fill in a circle on their card and they can come in at the end of 25 days to get a special prize and just keep doing it over and over again. Oh, well, well, Amanda, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Well, I'm here with a mom and dad and their son, Layton. Layton, look over here. Did you guys know about the event in advance? We did. Yes. Okay, and why do you think it's so important to bring your child to something like this? I think it's important just to get them excited about attending something that's new and kind of scary to them because they don't understand what we're talking about. Uh -huh. So I think it's just fun to yeah, see all I think the kids. to get off at a, with a positive start is always a good thing, and I still look forward to it now more than he probably would have. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's excited. And is there anything in particular that you wanted to come here and learn? I think just to see all the kids out and let him see there's other kids like him that are going to kindergarten. It's important to know he's not the only one. So I think it's just been fun. And actually, he was sitting next to a child that's from his preschool. So that oh, wow. kind of gives that continuity. Uh huh. So okay. He's actually excited, but you can't tell. <laughs> well, I think he wants to go over here. Has he done this station, he this did. skill we need station to move this already? Way. Don't we, Layton? Can you say thank you? Thank you. Bye. -bye. Thank, thank you. you. at the Champaign Public Library and I have Gianni and Gianni Jr., right? Yes, yes. <laughs> Did you guys know about the event in advance? Oh uh, yes, about a month ago. Yes, okay. We saw the event. <laughs> and why do you think it's important for you to bring your son to Oh uh, well like basically he needs the um, you know the know-how for when he gets ready to kindergarten to mm -hmm. you know this this is a good program for him to get started. Okay. At least know some of the basics of mm -hmm. what he'll be encountering. And there are 
a number of different skill stations here. Right. Um, what have you learned so far? What has he been able to participate in? Uh, he did the uh, scissors and um, know your shapes, and uh, it, he's doing pretty good. So, yeah, he's done a couple of activities, so okay. yeah, he's doing pretty good. And what types of things do you do with him at home to help him oh, prepare? Yes, we have charts and uh, different things, charts and okay. ABCs, shapes, colors, um, story reading at night, and, uh, you know, general, you know, play around, toss the ball, different things like that. So. Yeah, we do a lot of activities. Okay, <laughs> and is there anything in particular that he seemed to have enjoyed the most here today? I think he's enjoying he's... the fish right now, <laughs> tossing the fish, so okay, <laughs> that's well, what he's doing. I'll go ahead and let you get back to him. Thank you so Alrighty, much. Alrighty, thank, thank you. you. We're here at one of the skill stations at the Countdown to Kindergarten here today at the Champaign Public Library, and I am with... Uh, Cameron Myers. All right. And tell us about your involvement with the library and then what's going on with your skill station. Well, I'm a volunteer here at the library, and I am in the Know Your Letters alphabet station. Okay. Where the kids get to identify letters on the floor, and then we do a duck toss behind me where I toss a duck to the kids and they see with letters on the bottom of it. All right. And why do you think it's important for the library to sponsor an event like this? Um, I just think it's a great chance for kids to get to the, meet other kids that might not go to the school, um, mm -hmm. get to socialize, be with their parents still. And it's kind of safe that the parents are here. Mm -hmm. um, plus, it's just great for the library to get involved with the community, I think. Mm -hmm. And you volunteer for something like this, why? Um, I'm a graduate student in library sciences here at the university. Okay. All right, well, Cameron, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. I'm here at the Champaign Public Library with Millen and Jeb. What prompted you to come to the event today? Well, actually, um, he's ready to go to uh, kindergarten in mm -hmm. a couple of months, and I thought this is one of the best places we could get like most information, mm -hmm. and uh, like a one-stop for all that we needed. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really good to be here to see everything that's required for, uh, for the kindergarten. And we want to see, make sure that he's also successful. Okay. And that's the reason we came here. What type of events? There are different stations that are available here. What type of skill sets were you able to learn about here today? Well, actually, we could see many things like color. He could identify the letters, the colors, the shapes. Mm -hmm. And so I think it was uh, very informative. And plus, of course, he has learned some things in the preschool himself. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of a good recap and just to make sure that he's getting the right skills. That's really what we needed to know, what skills he needs, the right skills, not just any just, just not just not any knowledge, right. the right skills. As a parent, we all want our children to succeed. What are some of the things that you do at home to make sure that he's developing well? Oh, we try to involve him in a lot of activities, like uh, simple things like even cooking or uh, doing laundry. So he does a lot of things with us. And I think the main thing is like he wants to get involved mm -hmm. and that he doesn't want to be left out. So he just comes with us every, everywhere we go. And then grocery, we also ask him to like, you know, put the stuff, mm -hmm. what uh, apple bags he needs. So we ask him like to choose the apple bag. Uh -huh. So even at home, he does most of the things like, I don't know, it's just, uh, he likes to get involved. That's the reason, I think. So we try to involve him in everything. Well, that's great. So he's preparing at home. You bring him to an event like this so that he can prepare. And just in a couple of months, he's going to be ready for kindergarten. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. I Thank hope you. you enjoy the event today. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I'm here with Sam at the Countdown to Kindergarten event. Tell us a little bit about your involvement with the event. Okay, I'm a practicum student here at the library, so I'm just learning how to be a librarian. and. Uh, Today we have the What Comes Next station and we have these wonderful books about making cookies but we messed, messed them up and they're all out of order. So the kids have come and they're helping us out. They're putting them back in order mm -hmm. and then they're tying them off. So it's, it's a pretty neat station. There's lots of complicated things to do but I think a lot of these kids are ready for kindergarten. All right, I have a question for you. You've chosen to be a librarian. Why do you think that's so important? Well, um, because it's really neat coming here uh, to Champaign Public especially and, they, and there's just tons of kids that are here because they want to read mm -hmm. and because they want to play with the books and because they want to learn things and uh, I, I love every moment of it. Okay. And why do you think it's important for parents to bring their children to an event like this specifically? 
Well, you know, there's a lot of things we forget that we we had to learn, like mm -hmm. cutting and tying and all of those things. And coming to an event like this, you can rem remember that, oh yes, I need to work on the cutting skills, or oh, I need to, I need to remember that tying is really important to do once you get into kindergarten. And so. It's just a neat way to remind yourself what you you had to learn too. Okay, well I want to let you know that we truly do appreciate what you're doing here today. I saw you interacting with one of the children and she was doing an awesome job with tying. <laughs> she was. And just to hear you encourage her, that's what we need for our children. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We're here on location at the Champaign Public Library and with me today is Betsy Shea. Betsy, first tell me a little bit about what you do here at the library. I am the children's librarian, one of the children's librarians mm -hmm. at the library. Um, so I'm responsible for some of the story times, the baby times, mm -hmm. Tuesday twos, purchasing materials for the children's department, um, going out to preschool visits mm -hmm. in the community and also doing book talks for the Champaign Unit 4 schools. Okay. So those are just some of the things we do. All right, and what inspired you guys to do something like Countdown to Kindergarten? Well, um, actually it came from the Birth to Six Council, mm -hmm. which I'm a member of, and um, so we got talking about how the children need to be more prepared to come to kindergarten, mm -hmm. and so I said, well, we're always looking for programs to have at the library. Mm -hmm. So why don't we put something together where we could have a program that would concentrate on the skills that they need and then an informational table so parents would at least have a little bit of an idea about mm -hmm. what their children are going to be needing when they go to kindergarten. Okay. So that's kind of how it came about and so we had a few members from the Birth to Six Council here helping mm -hmm. and um, uh, Amanda, our other librarian from Douglas, and Laura Fegley from Urbana Library, who's also on the council, and I just kind of thought it would work, and it was quite a popular program today. Okay, and I did notice that you had it set up so that there were different skill sets. Yes. Tell us a little bit about the stations. Well, um, we had eight different stations. Mm -hmm. The first, uh, one of the stations was um, an alphabet station where we had a lot of manipulatives. There was a fish pond, so they fished out letters and they had to say what the letter was. Mm -hmm. And also in that station we had the duck toss, which there was a duck and it got tossed to you, which is a you know, skill of catching, which is mm -hmm. something they need to do. And then they had to name the letter that was on the duck. Okay. Um, they had a floor puzzle. And that was the alphabet station. We also had a cutting station, because mm -hmm. scissor, using scissors, not just to cut a straight line, but to cut curves and triangles and things like that. We had a station for cutting. We also had um, a sorting station mm -hmm. for color sorting and shape sorting by small, medium, and large. Okay. Um, what else did we have? We had a personal information station, which mm -hmm. was writing your name and your phone number. Um, and knowing 911. Okay. Then we had um, a, a number station where they had mm -hmm. to put the numbers in order. I had a fun station over there, which was uh, it was kind of like musical. I chairs. was going to mention that I saw a lot <laughs> of kids music. doing that. And that was basically we had cards on the floor with 
shapes that were different colors and they would walk around and we play music when the music stopped they would stand in front of a card and i would call it a card like a yellow circle and if they had that they would get a sticker ok and so they had to identify the proper card and that was fun they could play as many times as they wanted to ok we also had a little station where they made a book to take home but in order to the book was not put together they had to put it together in order of sequence ok making cookies and there were four pictures of the various stages of cookie making so they had to put that together and they could tie it up and take it home and color it and what else did we have we had oh a pattern station ok where they had to identify what would come next so it might be like triangle triangle heart triangle triangle what comes next ok and then we also put manipulatives out some foam shapes where they could make their own patterns and maybe have somebody else fill in the spaces ok so we had that and then at the very beginning we had a book that we shared which was called is your buffalo ready for kindergarten ok and that was great because that's one of the skills when they go to kindergarten they have to be able to sit and listen to a story and so they did that and then we played a Jim Gill song which had four steps um, following directions. Okay. Jump up, turn around, clap your hands, stomp the ground. Mm -hmm. So we did that. And so we tried to hit on everything that was important. And hopefully the parents got to see that, well, maybe my child is great in this area. They know mm -hmm. everything they need to know about cutting. But in this area, they might need a little more work. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of our goal today. Okay, well, you mentioned story time. What other things does the library offer mm -hmm. for children of this age? Well, every Wednesday we have story time at the main library. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, we have two different sessions. It's a half hour session where we share books and songs and finger plays and um, just different activities to reinforce skills, um, reading skills, and um, things like that. Um, we also have programs every Saturday at the library, just mm -hmm. about every Saturday. And those are geared for different ages. Sometimes it's geared more towards preschool. Sometimes it's geared more towards elementary school level. Okay. And those are different. Music, dance, magic. crafts, magic, mm -hmm. all different kinds of things. So we have all kinds of fun programs at the library. And Douglas Branch also has mm -hmm. programs on different days. So if you come to our library one day, you can go to their library another day and, and get the same kind of program. Okay. For example, story time is here on... On Wednesday. And there's story time at the Douglas Branch on Thursday, I believe. Thursday uh, at 1030. Is it? Okay. Mm -hmm. I, yep. I'm not sure which day that is over there because I don't really get over there that often. But but I know the babies, like we have our babies on Monday. Mm -hmm. And I think they have theirs on Thursday or Friday. Yep. So And then Urbana has, has theirs at different times, too. So you could actually go to three programs in the week. And we've done that. We've, <laughs> we've done, done that. it. Okay. It, it, is, it is really nice it to is. be able to coordinate something like that and have a different experience because right. each library does something just a little bit different. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. nice to expose your child to something like that. It is. With that in mind, this to me was just the beginning, the countdown to kindergarten. Mm -hmm. There is a series that's actually starting in March. Tell right. us a little bit about that. Well, we just, um, every year we try to do a week where we concentrate, or a month where we concentrate on a, a preschool mm -hmm. um, activity. And so this year we thought, well, as long as we're doing this program, let's promote that a little more during March. Mm -hmm. So in March, we're going to have um, five different weeks, um, and one week might concentrate on on your body, like mm -hmm. getting to know your body, body parts and things like that, um, being able to identify that. And um, on one week might be um, getting to know um, alphabets mm -hmm. or numbers. So we have different weeks where we're going to concentrate, maybe do a craft, definitely some stories that, okay. that work within that frame, and then also um, probably activities, something like we did today. Mm -hmm. So that would be Okay. We usually have pretty good turnout for those too. All right. Well, thank you so well, much. There was a great coming. turnout today there was as a well. Great turnout. We had a great time, and we, we got some great feedback from people. So, and yeah. hopefully, we'll do this again next year. All right. Yeah. So, so it might be an annual We're event. We're hoping. We wanted to see how it went today, mm -hmm. and we had pretty positive feedback, and we thought it was great. So, I think we'll do it again next year. All right, so be sure to visit the Champaign Public Library. There is a lot to do for all ages, not just for preschoolers and preparing your child for kindergarten, but for all ages. This is Marie Polk with CU Mommy Connection and Betsy from the Champaign Public Library. Thank you. Thank you.
We're here at the Champaign Public Library wrapping up the countdown to kindergarten event. But I have another question. Why do you think it's so important for parents to participate in something like this? Um, kindergarten's a lot tougher than what it used to be, and it's really important for kids to come in with a good foundation of skills. So if they can cut properly, hold their pencil correctly, you know, write their name, know some ABCs, um, and be able to follow simple directions. It's, it's really important for the kids to become more independent when they come into kindergarten. So the, by learning some um, skills, then that makes them stronger. All right. Thank, Thank you. you so much. <laughs>Beth, and she's operating one of the skill sessions in the Countdown to Kindergarten. Beth, tell us a little bit about your involvement and why you think it's so important for parents to bring their children to something like this. Okay, um, well, the session that I did was uh, sorting by color and shape today, mm -hmm. and I think it's really important um, because kids need to know those skills, especially by the time that they get into first grade. So, okay. Um, and today what we did basically was sorting large, medium, and small. Okay. And then we also sorted uh, just by colors. So orange, green, yellow, purple, red, and blue. And those are basic skills that kids really need to know. So. Okay. And what's your involvement with the library? I'm doing a practicum here okay. for library science. All right. School, I spoke so. with someone earlier who is doing the same thing, mm -hmm. and I'll ask you a question I asked her. Okay. Why did you choose to become a librarian? Um, well, because I really, really think that reading is very important, and mm -hmm. I would like to have a broad context to help kids learn to read. So. All right, and we appreciate that so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching CU Mommy Connection. Remember, you can join us right here every Sunday evening at 8.30 p.m. on UPTV Channel 6. Good evening and God bless.